longer close my eyes and pretend not to see your obsession. You're ruining us financially, not to mention everything else going on in our relationship. But a mortgage to get permission to kill some animal in Africa? Please, come to your senses. It's not too late to save our relationship. Richard. Julia, please. I'm terrified of these animals in our house. They remind me of what you've become. Hunting is no longer a noble mission or a resource of some sort. It's just pure obsession. Don't you see it? Where are you now? The North Pole? I asked your father to give this letter to you, but I've heard you were ignoring him too. It's August the 3rd, 1991. Is it my mother? I had a call with Richard today. He threatened me with divorce if I don't come back, but, but he doesn't understand. I can't return with my hands empty. I've dreamed about him again. It's the same dream all over. He was drinking water, and then he looked into my eyes before he charged me. I shot, and it reverberated in my body like an avalanche. I couldn't breathe. He was just standing there, bleeding, still ferocious, looking at me, challenging me. I can't go back with empty hands. Today is August 25th, 1991. I have a new guide, Jack. The last one wasn't as determined as I am. Bending a few rules is necessary. Jack promised to get the trophy to the US. I honestly don't know how I would have transported it otherwise. It's the 1st of September, 1991. I've killed him. I've killed him. I took a life, but never felt more alive. The moment he died, I looked into his eyes, and our silent blood pact created the day I saw him was closed. I thought this would end. The silent itching, the back of my neck, the bloodlust. But it, it's still there. I keep thinking of my next prey. Maybe Richard was right. Maybe I am addicted. It's January the 1st, 1992. My father today, he, uh, I can't talk about it. He saw my trophy room. He said I am a poacher and he will never speak to me again. I haven't even got a chance to tell him that I'm pregnant. Julia, devote your thoughts. We're already here. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna freeze. What the hell? <sighs> this, this is no place for a polar bear. You're beautiful. You shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. You the one my mother was talking about? Why would she do that? It's, it's illegal to hunt bald eagles. What are you doing here? Have you enjoyed the show? I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Did the discovery shock you? Your mother being an obsessive poacher is too much for you? Noah, please. Beg all you want. You won't erase this. Do you know why they don't talk about her? Because your father hated her guts and the old man in the hospital is ashamed. 